once again, it's me, and welcome to another fun tutorial for today, which is Halloween. In case you're wondering, this is the first flannel shirt I have ever purchased or worn in my life. Anyways, I'm back once again for a fun craft that can be for all ages, whether you are seven years old or you're 13 or you're 57 years old, okay? I, I don't judge, okay? It's, that's gonna be me when I'm 57. God willing I live that long, then I'm probably still going to be doing crafts with my husband and be like, hi, Sonny! Wait, would I talk like that if I'm 57? I would be like, my husband would be like, honey, honey, we need to go to Michael's. And I'm like clipping coupons and everything and he's gonna be all like, will you shut up, woman? Why don't you call up one of your children and do crafts with them? And I'd be like, but honey bun, I love you. Okay, we're done peeking into the future of Percy. So, here it is. But it does require some things that maybe need some parental guidance and it is messy. So make sure you get some parental guidance because it might get messy or just have a parent watching over you or anything like that. Because the main thing at the end of the tutorial, as you will see is, you're gonna light these things up and they're gonna be basically your mason jar jack-o'-lanterns. It's a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, let's start off with those materials. You're going to need a mason jar or a couple and not too much designs on the outside. And I have went ahead and grabbed three. Of course, you're gonna need paper plates for your paint. And you're going to need paint. So I picked out three different colors for my three mason jars that I have. One color of paint that you're absolutely going to need is the color black. And for protection against the paint scratching off easily off the mason jars, I have brought into the mix polyacrylic because it's going to help protect your design a little bit better. Okay, what you're going to do first is go ahead and get rid of the tops of your mason jars because you're not going to need them unless you use these jars to put like candy in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pour out the first color that I'm going to color my first jar with. When you're painting the jars, make sure you leave the rim where the uh, the top of the mason jar would go. Just keep that open for right now. Plus, it's kind of helping me out with maneuvering around the actual jar <laughs> and not getting any paint on my fingers. After you're done with that first coat, go on in with a second coat on the jar just to give it a nice, full, rich color. Now that I've let my colors dry for a little bit, I'm going to go in with my black paint and then I'm going to paint the rim. After you get like a first coat of black onto the rim, you're definitely going to want to go in with a second coat as well around the rim. Just to make it a nice bold color. Okay, after that, I'm going to patiently wait for my full colors and black to dry on my jars. Once my jars are dry, that's when I'm going to come in with my black paint once again, and then I'm going to draw my fun faces on my jars. You know, fun jack-o'-lantern faces. Easy and fun and cute. Be very careful when you're maneuvering your jars around and painting on them. It is very easy for your fingernails or maybe a pencil or anything to like clip and totally like scratch off the acrylic off the jar. So be very careful because there's no polyacrylic on it and there's nothing really keeping the acrylic paint on the jar right now. Now if you're thinking, I'm going to use a sharpie on this. Okay, well, I went ahead and did that for you. I went and got a sharpie and I made this face on the purple jar as a guinea pig. So when I went to go spray it with my polyacrylic, as you can see, if you can see a little bit, the lines underneath the eyes is definitely running. So that's from Sharpie ink, but as opposed to acrylic paint with polyacrylic, which went wonderfully well. Now, if you use polyacrylic onto your jars, make sure you go outside. Don't spray it in your house. It, and kids, if you are young, please have parents around to help you with this. Um, and obviously wear gro gloves. I don't know what I was thinking. Clearly, I'm not thinking at all of safety first. Whatever. Anyways, just go outside, spray it around, give it a good old spray around. And not too close, just probably like 5-10 inches away from it and just, you know, 
let it dry overnight. Here is the main attraction. It's a jack-o'-lantern, so go ahead after they're completely dry from the polyacrylic. Please wait like a day before you go in and put a candle. Actually, go and buy one of those plastic candles that are fake flames and everything. Yeah, I would much prefer that more if you go do that. It's safer. Well, guys, I hope that was fun. If it made sense, anything, anything at all. <laughs> But make sure you just show me pictures, guys. If you're gonna do the craft and everything, just make sure, send it to me. I wanna see y'all's masterpieces. Y'all know it. But yes, I love you guys, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey!